I want to talk to you about your innovation plan. You know, there's nothing like present circumstances. To illustrate how important it is to innovate, a lot of organizations, uh, for-profit, not-for-profit, institutional, educational, government, have been caught off guard by the current situation and it has revealed the need to innovate, things like going online, things like making sure that everyone is up to speed in their computer skills, making sure that their marketing is on point. These are all things that everyone is scrambling to address now as it's clear that it might take some time for businesses to return to normal operation. Um, the question is, if you weren't innovating, why were you not innovating? And now is the time to break through whatever barriers existed, whatever resistance, whatever stories you were telling yourself on why you weren't innovating, it's, it's a good idea to break through that. I ask people things like, everything from why don't you have a website, to why aren't you involved in social media, to why aren't you showcasing what you're doing on YouTube, why aren't you using LinkedIn or some of these other platforms that would be ideal for you? Well, the answer is you've just decided that it wasn't for you for whatever reason. Well, now you realize that it has to be for you because whatever you're doing currently in order to continue moving forward, it's not temporary. This is a sign of something you're going to have to do long term and most likely permanently. So you have to imagine today that whatever, is, whatever it is you're doing, that this is the way you're going to have to operate. So that beautiful location that you've created, maybe people can't come there. This idea that you're going to operate only one-on-one, -on -one, face to face, well maybe that can't happen. Or the fact that some people are involved in the business inside the household and some people are not, maybe that's not going to be able to continue. Maybe you're going to have to decide that you're going to innovate. So these moments are very valuable because it shows you that innovation is important, it makes it a priority, and frankly, I've been in situations where I've been forced to innovate. I've been forced to innovate. Things like fire in my apartment, suddenly having to decide to, to go to work in, uh, on Wall Street while I was in college. Um, changes in uh, market conditions, deciding that I have to take certain steps to build additional income even while employed. Um, just all kinds of things. Uh, the market shifting dramatically during the not dot com, I said not, during the dot com bust, uh, an example of having to innovate, come up with new products, and not uh, being in a place where I could wait a long time to do that, having to do it immediately. So whatever you're doing, now is the time to decide that innovation is going to be co the course of action. And so I invite you to make a list of those things that you've been resistant in doing or that you never thought of doing or you didn't think you had to do and to decide, okay, what are the best things for me to do right now and what, is, um, the, 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 what are the circumstances forcing me to do with my focus, my talent, my business, my organization. For example, I see non nonprofits out there and they don't know how to go out and get money on the basis of their product offering. They don't know how to get people to attend an event or to get people to participate in whatever programs they have. They've relied solely on donations in grants. So they don't know how to conduct business, really. What they know how to do is just ask people for money. Well, that's one of the things that I don't like about some nonprofits is they get so conditioned to asking people for money, they forget that they, they have a product typically that they do. 
So we, when you see these major arts organizations do well, it's because they figured out that they have a product that they have that they can offer, and they encourage people to buy tickets and to buy merchandise and to participate in their education programs and their travel programs and what have you. So if you're in that situation where you have that kind of offering, this is a great example. You have to decide that rather than asking everyone to donate, which is okay, you can ask certain, a lot of people are generous and want to donate, but you've got to make that operation work. You've got to make that business work. Same thing if you're an entrepreneur. There are just times where there are certain things will not be available to you. You might not be able to borrow. You might not be able to uh, get that big client that is out there that would be typical. Well, you've got to innovate. You've got to come up with a new product. You've got to come up with a, a new platform to advertise on. You have to come up with new partnerships. What I'm saying to you is this is a moment to not of regret, not of disappointment, not of frustration, not of being sad about the way things are, but it's a moment to explore innovation at a new level and to recognize that innovation is your friend. The more you innovate, the richer your organization will be, the richer you will be as an entrepreneur, not, o- not only financially, but richer in terms of what you bring to the market, you know, th- making people want to work with you, and frankly, enjoying what you do. Innovation is exciting. It's nice to know that you're doing new things, cutting edge things, things that others are not doing, and that you see the market differently than others. So use this moment effectively. Use it to innovate, to do some things you've never done before, and to do them well and and at extraordinary levels. It will change you, it will change your business, it will change your future, And I believe that it will set you up for a level of success and abundance that you might not have otherwise achieved because you might have stayed uh, or remained in a rut, stuck in a rut where you were not performing where you could be. Innovate. Even if you're forced to innovate, that could be a good thing right now. If you like this tip, give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. Share it with someone in your network. And make sure you subscribe to my channel. I have a lot more coming, a lot more here, and I'll see you next time.